Hey guys, how you doing today? Okay, I really have some exciting stuff to show you. Um, I've been working with Oliver and William, and they are two gentlemen that were uh, subscribers to my channel, and Oliver is a very, very flu fluent. He grew up in France, I believe. Uh, he can correct me on his channel if I'm wrong, but he knows so much about the French language, uh, both modern and past French, uh, and he is finding some amazing things. And he has a channel called Oak Island Research. Uh, I will leave a link in the description. And uh, then we have another uh, gentleman named William who lives in England, and he is bringing some amazing insight into this uh, discussion too. I'm telling you guys, this document here is amazing in my last video and you need to watch my last video because I'm not going to get into uh, the discovery all that much but there are little picture clues all over this map and they are helpful like this one down here is how you set this scale and this number watch my last video and it will show you how that is done um, the other thing is too is this um, this arrow or this eye in Peter that looks like an arrow because it has like a little thing coming out the middle the bottom of it that arrow right there that was a clue on setting up the angle line it's actually the 45 degree angle line in the triangle of Peter so I'm going to get to that and show you guys because there's a lot to cover and I hope you say to the end because you're going to be blown away. But anyway, here's your base. This is all things that came off of uh, La Formula. Uh, but the, uh, the, the Nolan's triangle is right here. Uh, the flip up of this triangle that goes to the midstone to the extension. These are all in my past videos on how that was uh, derived. But uh, here's your scale line that goes through the the ET and the TE and the TE down at the bottom which goes and hits this line right here and then you take your scale line from the top of the triangle down to this line right here which is drawn right here and you measure it and you get this number right here or actually you don't measure it you bring this line to this number which is 1347 converted to 1443 uh, with a pre pre 1668 uh, value for a foot and that is all explained in my last video so let's move on and let's put this back up still. The other thing is too, is uh, with the triangle of Peter, uh, we have the now a good register here with the triangle of Peter. There was another thing that uh, I noticed was the E in uh, East was offset telling you and these two uh, two squares were offset and that set the alignment up for uh, this right here for this direction uh, also I noticed an alignment here in Batau and how this looks like Nolan's cross and there's these anchor chains and that this line is supposed to go through those anchor chains uh, there's one right here, but I don't know exactly what that is for. Um, then there was the center point, which is there's this little anchor line that comes here into this corner. He likes to do things on tangents and on edges, on lining things up. So I did that, and I went down to this new point, and this is unverified, but this is a boulder on the beach and it runs through the money pit and it intersects 
right here at the intersection point where you started. So you have this triangle here, which may be what they're referring to for the, the rock triangle or something like that, triangle Peter. But the other thing, now we're going to get into the scale lines. And these are lines that are in blue because they're all the same distance, uh, which is the scale distance set by that uh, riddle that we solved. The first one is, oh, and I should have left that up there, is when you draw the scale line to where it meets, you draw another scale line and it goes to the center of this quadrant. So that's another register line right there. That's a register line for this quadrant. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain that this is lined up just right. So uh, the next thing I want to show you guys is uh, that there are two centers of data here. The first one is that emanates from the end stone of Nolan's Cross. And the second one is from Triangle 2. These are two, these are the two center points of all the data that comes out. And I will show you is uh, here's the, as the Triangle 2 is the center of this circle, which is set at the scale distance. And then um, the other one is at the end of uh, the, is the end of uh, Nolan's cross, and that is set at this distance. Now triangle two shows you the intersection of the hole right there, and that's on Zena Halpern's map. I'll put that up in a minute. The other uh, one is the north triangle. Both, both, or north anchor. Both these circles go through the north anchor and very close, well within the tolerance of plus or minus six feet. Um, let's see, I think it was, yeah, triangle two establishes the north anchor and the south anchor. And the, the one that emanates from the uh, Nolan's, uh, the end of Nolan's cross uh, does the hole and the oak entrance and the north anchor. So each of them have uh, the main features that I believe this person wants you to understand located on this map. Now there's other, you know, these are all scale lines and of course they emanate from the 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 center point of this, but there's one that doesn't, is from this corner here to the trap door. And that could be incidental, uh, but I don't think it's coincidence. I just think it's, it's something that we haven't solved yet, but it is an important indicator to locate the trap door. Um, there's other ways that were in my previous videos uh, using La Formula to uh, locate the trapdoor. However, um, those have the the uh, formula for that is a little uh, it's not refined yet, and I, I I need to look at that a little bit more. But we still have a scale line coming to there, and we also have a scale line coming. Uh, from the trapdoor intersection and also from the end of Nolan's Cross. And we knew that before. Uh, the other thing is too is, let's see, scale line that 5 turn 2. This uh, angle between uh, the north anchor and the angle between the money pit and the north anchor is 40 degrees. And then from uh, this one, uh, the triangle to the north anchor, and let's see, the triangle to the north anchor and the south anchor 
is 40 degrees. So you have two triangles here that are, let me take this off so you can see them better. So you have two emanating from the center here. You have, this is 40 degrees from here to here, and this is 40 degrees from here to here. That's too many consistencies to be uh, a coincidence. Uh, now what I would like to do is just show you now, I'm going to put all the other hard data that I had before. It's going to blow you guys away. And here's Fred Nolan's map. And if you guys watched my previous videos, this is another whole nother data set. Okay, this is from actual surveys from Fred Nolan's thing, uh, Fred Nolan. And if you watch my previous videos, we have this set within, I mean, this is like set within just a couple of feet. All the tolerances are very tight on this. And, you know, this is Fred Nolan's data, and then also one of these lines is from the 1937 survey that I lined up for Aaron Helton. And it a, couple, a day later, I put my data on there and found out that it just lined up perfectly. So all this data here is Fred Nolan's, and this is the blue is what we've extracted from the Rashvakal document and it has uh, put in all these different locations in a scale. These are all scale distances taken from that document uh, to locate them. So there is something in that document. Uh, check out Oliver's uh, YouTube channel oakislandresearch.com and he has some very interesting stuff also but uh, this this document here is way more than uh, what it seems and there is much to be understood about this document alright thanks for watching I will talk to you guys later bye